Hi, my name is Jonas Uselius, and I am the CTO of Oceanbox. Oceanbox is a company providing advanced oceanographic simulation services to our customers. What I like best about Dapper is that it's really a one-stop shop for pretty much anything inter-process communication uh, for your services or, and, and microservices, uh, which means that I only have to learn one set of APIs to do largely whatever I need. The other thing I really enjoy about Dapper is, is that it's language agnostic. So I'm not tied down to a single platform. I'm not, I can choose to use F Sharp, I can choose to use Rust, Python as I need, and not tied to a particular platform. The way I ended up being a fan of Dapper is that I was looking for a um, package to do actors. I'm a great fan of actors. And um, so I was looking at various actor solutions and they were all good, but they had their own issues. And, and then I found Dapper and I realized that not only did App Dapper have a really nice actor implementation, it had everything else I needed. PubSub, it had uh, service bindings, remote invocation, everything in one package. And when that was it then, and I was sold. So an important learning moment when I started with Dapper was I was learning the APIs. I was looking at putting everything together, uh, but it's really not a substitute for not understanding the technology that you are lying on under the hood. So if you are using Dapper together with, for example, RabbitMQ, um, Postgres SQL and Redis, you really need to have a pretty good understanding of those technologies or you will end up in hot water pretty quickly. Another important thing that I realized, which I didn't really know in the beginning, because it was kind of hidden in the documentation, was that Dapper has some amazing ACL features, allowing you to control exactly which processes can talk to each other and when, which is really good for, for uh, high security. Yes, I would definitely use uh, Dapper again. Um, currently, it solves all the needs I have. And in the future, if, if uh, something would crop up that, that Dapper wouldn't solve for me, I'm pretty sure with the development speed uh, they have, that it actually will solve it even in the future. So I'm very, very happy. So my main tip for, a new, for anybody new to Dapper is to um, skim through the documentation um, and then set up a toy project. It's, it's quick and easy to do, and then you can play with the features that you need. Don't try to do everything at once, um, but set up uh, the parts that you need and toy with them and see how they perform in also when you scale up um, and get the feel for, for, for behavior and configuration options then it will be super easy for you to transfer those skills into to a production environment.